All right, folks, let's get straight to a headspace analysis. We have our FD600 oxygen headspace analyzer, folks. It's on. It's operating. You can hear the pump operating. And I will go step by step. And we're going to be testing some coffee bags, folks. My favorite coffee. Okay, so let's go forward. This is our syringe, our filter, coupler. And with our silicone grade tubing, we're going to connect it up to the barb of the analyzer. And you heard that. It stresses the pump just a little bit to let you know that, yes, indeed, air is coming through. Now, <clears throat> question is, Dr. Cos, is air actually going through and into the analyzer? And what you could do is you could see the syringe and there is a little hole. That's where air is sucked through and taken to the analyzer for processing. Now, if you put some stress onto that, you should hear the pump stressing. Okay, you could just pop it through. So you know air is going through and into the analyzer. If it's stressing it, then you confirm air is actually going through the needle. Okay, so that's the first thing you have to do. You have to confirm air is going through via that simple test. Now let's put the cap on and get our packages ready for analysis, okay folks? So these are scepters, they're basically little rubber dots that are adhesive, okay? And we pop them on to the bags, these are the coffee bags. This is ground coffee folks and this is from a special customer and just stick them very nicely on the bag and on the bags just like that. I'm gonna pop them on all these bags because we're gonna be analyzing all these bags, folks. So we're just gonna stick them on, make it tight. Okay, pop them on nicely. Pop them on again nicely. Now, headspace analysis. What's headspace analysis? I've never heard of that, Dr. Coswell. The headspace is the air that's remaining in the package. It's called headspace. It's the space left on the head of a package. That's why they call it headspace. And that's why we call this headspace analysis, folks. We're analyzing the headspace and whatever air is there. Sometimes for coffee, people do the nitrox flush or the nitrogen flush. They do a mixture of different gases. But for these guys, I really don't know what's there. I know they're having some packaging issues and we're gonna see if any air is permeating in and if it's retaining its low oxygen concentration, it's very important. Packaging is very, very important, especially for coffee guys. We don't want that coffee to oxidize. Okay, now, look, let's start with the needle, the filter, and the syringe. Everything is connected. The analyzer is reading 20.9%. That's what you want it to read. That's the air oxygen concentration, okay, folks? Very important. Now, if it's reading something else, check the calibration video on our website. And it's a quick bang, 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 few button procedure to get it to read to 20.9, okay? So that's first. Now, second, we've got the scepter on. Third, we're gonna be placing it through the rubber and into the package, okay? Now, bang, we have low volume of, or excuse me, low oxid, uh, concentration of oxygen. It's drawing air, and at the lowest point before it starts rising up, that is your data point, folks, about 8.4. That's consistent with other coffees that we have seen from the customer, okay? We're about 8.4. Once it stabilizes, then you could pop out the needle, and you're done. That's your analysis. It was 8.4. Again, put the cap on. We don't want any occupational <laughs> problems or injuries, folks. Put the cap on, and that's it. We know that the packaging or the line is actually flushing it with lower oxygen concentration. And we're confirming there's no holes in the package, otherwise that would be reading much higher than 8%. Okay, folks? I've seen some packages with tears and small microscopic holes. Um, so be careful when you're analyzing your packaging to figure out where their air is coming in from. Okay, let's do this second package over here, okay? Uh, uh, let's pop that in over there. Bang! Let's see what's going on. 
yes folks it's going down less than eight percent so it looks like it's a lower concentration of oxygen let's see how far lower it gets at 6.9 6.92 is the lowest okay we could pop that out and as you can see it takes less than 30 seconds folks okay less than 30 seconds bang that was the second bag okay third bag it's ground coffee up and fill it okay we're gonna do the same 20.9 i'm ready to go again make sure there's not much headspace you see there's not much space here nope there isn't much I had it on an angle it created a bit of friction too much force see there isn't much headspace here folks so let's try again let's pop that again so obviously the more headspace the easier the analysis but you don't want to go through the package so you have to be fairly careful folks fairly fairly careful okay let's go very slow here let's go very slow I think I'm through I didn't pierce through the other side which is good and again look at that folks it's going down so there isn't much headspace but there's enough to confirm we have low oxygen and it's being retained now once it starts creeping up it's because there's so much force it's probably sucking some from the various areas so that was as you could see there isn't much headspace but we did confirm that there is low oxygen okay and the last pack over here folks the last package here is a little bit more hit space so this should be a bit easier than the prior prior pack so let's have a look here let's put it in let's try and make it easier for ourselves actually i'm gonna pop another scepter right on this corner here it seems to be where the interface between the coffee and the hit space is and that would give me it a bit easier for me to pop the needle through. Okay, let's try that, folks. Straight through. A bit more, too much. Bang. So you could analyze it, and you know when you're in, when it um, actually does change oxygen levels 6.5, 6.3. I think this is the lowest we have. It's going to go into the fives. That's pretty good. Again, limited headspace, but we still are getting um, a confirmation of a flush, of an air flush here, 5.8. Okay, folks, and that's it. That's basically how one would go about uh, doing a headspace analysis on various coffee bags. Okay, folks, so I hope you enjoyed that. If there's any questions, pop it in the comments or email us directly, folks. Thanks again, and have a great day. Enjoy your coffee, folks. For me, latte, latte, all the way. Bye-bye.